Joint implementation G is one of three flexibility mechanisms set out in the Kyoto Protocol to help countries with binding greenhouse gas emissions targets the Annex I countries meet their treaty obligations. Under Article 6, any Annex I country can invest in a project to reduce greenhouse gas emissions in any other Annex I country referred to as a joint implementation project as an alternative to reducing emissions domestically. In this way countries can lower the costs of complying with their Kyoto targets by investing in projects where reducing emissions may be cheaper and applying the resulting emission reduction units towards their commitment goal. A G project might involve, for example, replacing a coal-fired power plant with a more efficient combined heat and power plant. Most G projects are expected to take place in the economies in transition the EIT parties noted in Annex B of the Kyoto Protocol. Currently Russia and Ukraine are slated to host the greatest number of G projects. Unlike the case of the Clean Development Mechanism, the G has caused less concern of spurious emission reductions, as the G project, in contrast to the CDM project, takes place in a country which has a commitment to reduce emissions under the Kyoto Protocol. The process of receiving credit for G projects is somewhat complex. Emission reduction projects are awarded credits called Emission Reduction Units ERUs, which represents an emission reduction equivalent to one ton of CO2 equivalent. The ERUs come from the host country's pool of assigned emissions credits, known as Assigned Amount Units, or AAUs. Each Annex I party has a predetermined amount of AAUs, calculated on the basis of its 1990 greenhouse gas emission levels. By requiring G credits to come from a host country's pool of AAUs, the Kyoto Protocol ensures that the total amount of emissions credits among Annex I parties does not change for the duration of the Kyoto Protocol's first commitment period. Projects The formal crediting period for G was aligned with the first commitment period of the Kyoto Protocol, and did not start until January 2008 Carbon Trust, 2009, p. 20. In November 2008, only 22 G projects had been officially approved and registered. By 2012, it is expected that the total number of ERUs generated by G will be around 300 million. This estimate is based on values taken from project plans, and makes no adjustment to account for delivery in practice. Russia accounts for about two-thirds of these projected savings, with the remainder divided up roughly equally between Ukraine and the EU's new member states. Emission savings include cuts in methane, HFC, and N2O emissions. In December 2012, ERU prices crashed to a low of 15 C before recovering to 23 C after news that EU's Climate Change Committee was to vote on a ban of ERUs from countries that have not signed up to a second commitment period under the Kyoto Protocol. In January 2013, Bloomberg reported that emission reduction unit prices declined 89% in the 2012 year. See also Assigned amount units Emission reduction unit Removal units Certified emission reduction Clean development mechanism Flexible mechanisms Obtaining ownership of land by productive user third period phase three of the EU, TEAS is expected to start by the end of 2012. The future of the G is expected to be decided by the committee of the UNFCCC. Topic: External links. UNFCCC Joint Implementation on the UNFCCC Pages Foundation Joint Implementation Network host of the Joint Implementation Quarterly newsletter The Original Kyoto Protocol Notes <laughs> <laughs>